and they great in. So in the last video, we inserted a pick. You can see this is the one we did last time. Um, we took out the aspect ratio. Now we want to delete that because now we are going to be inserting an object into our Word document. Okay, so we're still gonna go to the insert tab. Um, this time we are going to go to shapes. So you'll see we have a number of different shapes. Again, uh, if you're asked to do this in the exam, they'll tell you exactly which one to choose, but we're just gonna mess around um, and I'm just going to choose, let's take the triangle and you can see my mouse pointer changes. Okay, so now I can left click, I'm gonna hold that down and I'm just gonna drag my mouse pointer and here it'll give me my shape. Now you can see that I can move this shape anywhere I want to. Um, I can fiddle around here with the direction of the triangle. Oh, starting to look like maths. <laughs> no. Okay. Um, also, I can, you know, flip it around. I can do whatever I wanted to it. Um, and when I right click on that and I go down to format shape, then I can also begin to fiddle with things like what the color of the line must be, the transparency, the width of the outside line. Uh, if I want it filled with a color, you know, if not, all, all these various things. But these are the different options that I have for my shapes. So I can go and insert a number of shapes. Let's say I want a circle inside of this. Same is going to apply and I can do that. Okay. Now, the nice thing with this, the only real thing you need to know is um, we can insert different shapes. And again, you'll see when I click somewhere else, the normal tabs appear. As soon as I click on a particular shape, the format tab appears. And again, I've got different options here. Um, I can even use this section to fill the shape with a color, the shape outline, and some effects as I did with uh, the picture that I inserted as well. I've also got different shape styles. Um, that are presets which I can use over here as well. Okay, so this is basically what you are going to be using. Um, the one thing I just want to mention is that if you are asked to make uh, some sort of logo or something like that, and you need to use a number of different shapes, okay, I'm just going to take that and throw that over there, um, then they might ask you to actually. Um, group everything as one shape. So you can see at the moment, if I click on it, if I click anywhere, it'll move some of the other shapes. However, if I click on all of them using the control button, so I hold down control, I click on all of them. Then once I've got it all highlighted, now you can see they're all together. So I can right click on that and go to group. And then I click group over here. And what it does now, it's brought it all together and I move it as one object. If I don't like that, I can always right click on it again, go to group and ungroup to deal with the individual elements. Okay, and that's how we insert objects.